Welcome back, everyone. The oldest house in Austin turns 175 years old this year. It is the French Legation Museum, and there's a big birthday bash happening next weekend to mark the occasion. Two women who play a big role in the museum are with us this morning, Rachel Bryson and Galen Finkley Hecker. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to get to your dress in just a second, but okay. first, I want to talk about the history um, of this museum. Um, both of you are members of the Daughters of the Republic of Texas. Yes, this organization right. has been behind this museum uh, for a while now, since 1949. Yes. So give us a little history for those that have, may have walked by this old house and didn't even know what it was. It's a little jewel that's right in the middle of the Austin, uh, downtown Austin. And it was originally built 175 years ago during the Republic of Texas as the French Embassy. Uh, and French, uh, the French government sent an assistant over here from Washington, D.C. to see if they wanted to set up a relationship and treaty with the Republic of Texas. The Republic of Texas at that time was only, it was 180 years, so therefore it was only three years old. Mm -hmm. So they did. Uh, they decided they did want to set up a treaty. They, uh, Austin was only one year old and it was filled up with log cabins. And so then they decided to build a house and they bought some land, 20 acres of land, the French did, and they built a French embassy, and the house still, still stands. It was not made of log cabins, it was made of uh, long leaf lolly pop. <laughs> lob lolly. Lob lolly. Lob lolly. Lob lolly. Lob lolly. Lob lolly. Bass Bass Rock Bass Cedar. Cedar. For and sure, Bass a name we know from yes. Bastrop County. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so it still stands, and uh, the state of Texas bought it in 1949 and turned the custodianship over to the Daughters of the Republic of Texas. And we ha took 11 years, but we finally got the doors opened and then it was open to the public. And it is a jewel and we love it. Yeah, and it's been moved. It Was it nope. built? It has never been moved. It has never been moved. Okay. It is there and it has a basement. It has a wine cellar. Okay, so it is, w where it was built is where it has stayed. Yes. Which makes it even more rare. Yeah. The yes. very few Republic of Texas buildings that exist most of them have been moved around somewhere. Mm -hmm. This one has not. That's why I think I just assumed that, that it had been moved. Nope. Mm -hmm. Explain explain your dress to me. This thing is uh, definitely an antique. It is an antique, but it's not as old as a legation. The legation is 175 years old. This was my great-grandmother's dress made out of cotton. It's only 130 years old. Only. Mm -hmm. And you I wore it today just because yeah. it's not quite old enough, but it's pretty close. For sure. Will you be wearing it at this big birthday bash next weekend? No, I won't wear this because it's too much out in the elements. Sure, you But many it. of us on the committee are going to be in period costumes, so we'll be walking around looking like we belong to the Republic of Texas. Yeah, back in the day. and. Uh, if you come out to the uh, French Legation Museum next weekend, there is a lot going on. There's going to be a flag mm -hmm. ceremony happening at noon, right. free tours, right. a lot of stuff for the kiddos to do as well. Mm -hmm. A face mm -hmm. painting, storytelling, and birthday cake. You've got to have birthday cake for the big birthday bash. And speaking of storytelling, yes. um, Galen, you are an author, mm -hmm. and you have come out with this children's book, which is pretty, pretty brand spanking new. I love, the, I love the name, Bonjour, y'all. Uh, and this explains that everything that you just, uh, everything, all the background that you just gave us, this pretty much explains it in a nutshell for, for children to understand. This is the first children's history that we know of, the, the French legation. Mm -hmm. And history's kind of hard to go down for kids sometimes. So the narrator of this tale is a squirrel. That's why we call it a nutty tale. <laughs> and I heard your weather person this morning say it was nutty weather. I was so happy to hear oh her say goodness. nutty. Oh my goodness, and she didn't even know. <laughs> she didn't know, but we're into nutty. So the narrator is every squirrel. Mm -hmm. He's the oral historian for the 400 generations of squirrels that have lived at the legation. Perfect. His great grandma was there when Dubois packed his trunks and moved to Texas, but unbeknownst to him, a pair of jolie blonde, pretty blonde squirrels, squirreled away in his trunks and came to Texas. In fact, they heard there were lots of nuts in Texas, <laughs> so the adult readers can take that however you like, but they landed at the French Legation and have lived there all these years. So the squirrel tells a story 
of what it was like. I love it. And how, how brand new is this book? When was it, uh, when was it published? When two did it weeks come out? ago. Just two weeks ago. We did it for the uh, celebration. Mm -hmm. This is the big year. So we needed uh, every grandma and every mama who comes and brings their kids. We'll want to go on with a souvenir. For sure. So we think this is a good one. So you can buy the book if you come to, to the mm -hmm. birthday bash. Is it on Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. Saturday of next week. March 5th. March 5th. And um, uh, I know storytelling is on the agenda. Does that include reading of, of this book? I'm going to read this on the front porch. We're going to have birthday cake on one end and squirrels on the other. It doesn't get better than that. Thank you, <laughs> ladies, for coming in this morning, and uh, thanks for everything you do to preserve history right in the smack dab of downtown Austin. We love it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah.